This is a beautiful area. This is the first time I'll be hiking a big hike without Steve. He, uh, his knee started hurting him after all the steep climbs that we've done here in Washington. Hopefully it'll be better if he rests it for a couple of weeks. And so I'm going to do the last two hikes by myself and hopefully I won't get lost or injured because I won't have Steve to uh, keep me on track. He's my GPS. So wish me luck. I'll try to take pictures and uh, they won't be as good as Steve's, but I'll try to get as many pictures as I can. See you up the trail. Well, this could be fun. It looks like that's where I'm going. It looks a little steep from here. I'm not really sure what the purpose of this is. We're not on top of a pass or anything, but there it is. I've seen a few of these now. They must just be to mark the trail when there's too much snow. Okay, so since GPS isn't with me, I decided to go up the Table Mountain. I hope I'm not regretting it later. But this is a view halfway up. Not sure if this is the top of Table Mountain or if that is the top of Table Mountain, but this is probably as far as I'll go because I'm wasting too much time. But there's a pretty good 360 view around from here. So, and you didn't get to see my behind climbing up all these rocks. I'm sure you're all sad about that. This didn't seem as steep when I was coming up it. Now I've got to figure out how to slide down it. Good luck I'm to me. I'm trying to go down this. It's very, very sketchy. I've slid down quite a bit. And then I just realized that's because the trail's over there. Well, here's the trail junction. It's 8.50. I'm heading up to Ptarmigan Ridge. Okay, so I just followed those the footprints across this snow. But then I get over here and realize the trail's down there. So now I gotta get down there over these rocks. So here's a nice snow bridge that I gotta get across and it's looking kinda hollow underneath. So I must be careful. I'm not sure if you can really see this, but there's a bunch of snow blocks here that must have fallen down from someplace a while ago. But they're still sitting here and melting. I'm glad I wasn't here when they came down. I'm sure that those snow blocks that I saw used to be a cornice like that up on that hill and they just came down and here's the trail for a little ways across lots of these streams coming down the mountain and the trail being the stream sometimes But so far it's been a good trail, and I think there might be one person in front of me, but I haven't really seen anybody, so looks like I gotta go across here somehow. The trail is in that snow somewhere, so I guess I'll just make my own trail. I think I'm trying to get up to that ridge, so... Hopefully, I'll find the trail again. But it is pretty beautiful up here. Okay, so I can't 
came up a little ways, came up from down there, and I think I see the trail up there above the snow, but do I try and go up the snow, or do I go that way and try and go over around it? So I got to go explore and see which way looks better. Nobody's been on this snow, so I don't know. At least I'm not seeing any footprints. I just made it up this snowbank, which I'm not sure if it was the right way or not. Here come some people with ice axes. I'm not sure which way they'll go. Anyway, and he loaded the map onto my phone and it headed up this direction. But now I got to the end of the snow and I've got this beautiful views. There definitely must have been an easier way to come up because I've got three people in front of me now and they were way, way, way behind me. So I guess I'll be searching for a different way back down. But I climbed a snow glacier and uh, stamped in prints for some other poor lost soul. But, wow, look at that. That's beautiful. Well, the trail goes right into that snowbank. And again, I thought that I saw a trail going up this way to get around it. But when I got up here, I see that people have just gone across the snow down there. So I'm going to take that well, way this instead. This is definitely quite the adventurous trail. It looks like now I've got to go straight up some deep snow and hopefully find the trail. At least now I know there's somebody in front of me so I can follow their tracks. Quite a few of these snow patches. This one isn't too bad, so I guess I'll show you this one. At least it's not steep, but it takes extra time tromping through the snow. Well, this is turning into quite the adventure. I'm really hoping it'll be worth it when I get to the other side. I think it will be, but. I'm going to be tired. Oh, wow. And there's Mount Rainier again. I'm pretty sure that's Mount Rainier over there. Okay, well, I'm not sure how much further to go. Oh, look at that lake over there. I didn't see that before. That's really pretty. Anyway, I've got a great view from here. Now this trail keeps going up. I'm not quite sure how far it goes. And I'm kind of running out of time because it's already 10 to 11. Hopefully I can get a hold of Steve to tell him I'm going to be late. But this is really beautiful. That's probably pretty grainy, but... Anyway, I've made it one big adventurous hike. Maybe hiking on my own, I'll learn to uh, be a better navigator because I'm just too dependent on Steve being my GPS. So, anyway, we'll see you down the trail a ways. Wow, this is just incredible. I've still got a little bit of ways to go. I think I'm going up, up top of that little 
hill that I'm not sure how much further but this is pretty impressive well I guess this is where I stop it's really hard for me to turn around especially when I got all this way and then all I'm really seeing is a lot of snow. I can't even see the mountain anymore because there's too much snow. Well, this is pretty impressive. I don't know if I can zoom in on that or not. You can hear the water run through those. Okay, so I'm back where I was when I saw that guy before. And he told me if I went right over there by those red rocks that I would see a great big crevasse and be looking right at a straight flat wall of a crevasse. And I did that, found out his idea of a crevasse is vastly different than mine because it was basically just a big wall of snow. Pretty glacial white over there starting to thaw out. Not sure how well you can see it, but it's a be a pretty lake I'm sure in a little bit. Amazing views here. This is where I lost the trail somehow when I was coming up this morning. I went straight up that and I was supposed to go across this snow field and then up what looks like a stream which was actually part of the trail and then keep going over that direction. And But there were no footprints this morning so I didn't know that. And I went straight well, up These there. are the first two lakes I came to on my way on the Chain Lakes Trail. Um, I don't know if they even have a name, but hopefully there'll be some prettier ones a little bit further. But they're a nice couple of lakes. Of course, you probably can't see them because I'm bobbing the camera all over the place. Okay, well this is Iceberg Lake. It's very pretty, it has a nice color to it. There's still a few icebergs on the other side there, so I guess that's why it's called Iceberg Lake. It's a pretty big lake. And it's really pretty. A lot of people having lunch here. Well, here's another really beautiful lake. Right next to Iceberg Lake, another really big one. Wow, look at the color of this lake. This is amazing. The color is so pretty. Well, here's the Iceberg Lake from the other side. It's hard to get a good picture because the tree, there's lots of trees. That's very beautiful set against the... Okay, well, now, this was quite the adventure without Steve. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I think I'm going to make it back now. Get a few more miles than I was expecting. I was thinking maybe I would do between 11 and 12. And I'm not back yet. And I'm at 14 and a half. So I'll probably end up around 15 or so. And I definitely wore myself out. But it was a beautiful, really nice hike. And I really enjoyed it.